It's that time of the year again. It's blockbuster season and it's time to get all these heartless blockbusters appear on the screen, movies that have no core, that have no substance to them, they're just flashy things and is the Transformers going to fall into that? Yeah, there's no surprise here. The, the, the basic premise of the movie is it continues from the last one. We have Walt, Mark Wahlberg's character of Cade Yeager who is now on the run from the government. He's been deemed an enemy of the state because he was helping the Transformers. Transformers are landing on the planet daily more and more. Optimus Prime is travelling away to find his home world of whatever and uh, back in Earth there is another new layer of legendary Transformer storyline that's thrown into it. They appeared in King Arthur's time, they helped King Arthur, and yeah, there's dated back to then. It's not really that important, it doesn't really matter too much. Just basically, all you need to know is there is this big dragon, there's this staff that controls everything, and everybody wants to get it. You get Decepticons want it, Autobots want to get it, Kate Yeager's going to get it, and this bad uh, squid like woman type person on Optimus Price Homeworld is going to take the whole planet to Earth to get this stuff. It's typical stuff. Now what I was surprised about with Transformers is the first half of the movie. I found myself kind of liking it. Now you need to imagine, I'm sitting there all prepared to hate this thing and I start to find it's cohesively sought. It's got a, a little bit of rolly eye moment, but mostly it's just entertaining. It's got some good action. You can kind of tell the geography of everything and it's not shaky cam in your face. You can actually see the action happening on screen and the, 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 the robots look really good and they, they, they don't look as crappy as they have in some of the other ones. They look as if they're actually there, actually doing the stuff and they look pretty fantastic. I'm sitting there surprised, surprised that there's a Transformer movie on that I'm actually interested in watching and engaging with. I know it's kind of schlocky, but I'm having fun with it. Then we get to the second half of the movie where the characters start to do things that seem out of place. When characters disappear for long stretches and then just happen to reappear at the opportune moments and it starts to lose that cohesive ability that it had there later on. It starts to add in all these characters that we don't really care about, we don't really need. It tries to make it a massive storyline about the world, about all this backstory to Autobots, how all through history they were there helping win World War II and all kinds of other wacky stuff and you just start to feel it get bogged down with its own sense of self-importance. And at this point, I started to reevaluate my life. You know, you realise how fleeting time can be and how we're wasting it. And I suddenly realised that, yeah, I really like Transformers 1. I've hated every other one since then. And here I am, in the cinema again, watching another Transformers movie, feeling sorry for myself. The second half of the movie is, like I said, where they try to make it more important than it is. And they start to lose the sight of the smallish kind of story that they were telling and it becomes a special effects sizzle reel. At one point I actually thought somebody was playing a computer game on the screen, there was that much CGI going on that I just lost interest. Some of the character things that they do are just silly. You have this army team who seem to be working against Cade and the Autobots and at one point they come together, uh, Cade gives this really rousing speech. It's not rousing, it's not great but everybody kind of buys into it and they rip off their patches, they throw them in the floor and they're like, we're with you, kid. we're with you 100% all the way. Then we see them shooting guns and fighting and they get an order and saying retreat and they're like, bye, see you later, we're out of here. And you're like, well, it seems silly. It seems out of odds. It doesn't really add up with the rest of the movie. And it kind of left me disappointed. This one kind of hurt a little bit more than some of the other Transformers because they were just crap. This one actually built my hopes up because it started off pretty interesting and kept me entertained and then just fell off a sheer cliff at the end. I gave Transformers 2 out of 5. It is my second favourite Transformers movie, believe it or not, after the first one. I just wish it had a better second half than it did the first half. I, I think it's time for Michael Bay to go. If there's going to be another Transformers movie, I would really like to see what somebody else does with this property. I don't think it's dead in the water. I think it could hopefully be brought back to life with a new director and some freshness and some uh, distance between the project as well. Fingers crossed. And if there's a Transformers 6, I'll probably be there. I'll probably be sitting there cursing myself, going, why? Why am I doing it to myself again? Have you seen Transformers? Did you like it? 
Why did you like it? Let me know in the comment box, did you hate it? Was it for the reasons I hated it? Let me know as well. I'm really interested to know on this one. And just out of curiosity, what's your favourite Transformers movie? So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.